Let us consider a simple pendulum which has a bob of mass M attached to a length of string L. A horizontal force F is applied to the pendulum bob. In other words, we pull the bob sideways. Assume that we move the bob very slowly so that it is very nearly in equilibrium all the time. The horizontal force F will vary with the angle theta in such a way that it balances the horizontal component of the tension in the string, since the bob is in equilibrium at all times. The horizontal component of the tension in the string will increase from zero when the pendulum is vertical and get bigger and bigger the further from the vertical it gets. The forces acting on the bob are shown in the free body diagram here. They are the applied force F, the tension in the string T, and the weight of the bob MG. So what we want to determine is the work done by the force F in displacing the bob through an angle theta. In order to be able to do this calculation, we need to know how F varies with the angle theta. Now, since the bob is in equilibrium at every stage along its path, we can resolve the forces horizontally so that F must be equal to T sine theta. And if we resolve vertically, MG must be equal to T cos theta. If we divide equation 1 by equation 2, then F divided by MG is equal to tan theta, or in other words, F equals mg tan theta. The bob swings through an arc S. The length of the arc S is equal to the radius of the circle L multiplied by the angle theta. So in other words, S equals L theta. The magnitude of the displacement vector dr corresponding to a small change of angle d theta is given by dr equals l d theta. The work done by the force F as the bob moves from theta equals zero to some value theta naught is given by the integral of F dr, which is the integral of F cos theta dr. If we substitute for f from equation 3, we get that the work done by the force is equal to mg tan theta times cos theta dr, which is equal to mg sine theta divided by cos theta times cos theta dr, or in other words, mg sine theta dr. Now, since dr is equal to L d theta, then the work done is equal to the integral of mg sine theta L d theta. Since L is constant, that's mg L, the integral of sine theta d theta, and evaluating the integral gives us minus cos theta which we have to take between the limits of theta equals naught and theta naught, which gives us mgl into 1 minus cos theta naught, which is equal to mgh, where h is just given or just equal to the increase in height of the pendulum bob as it moves to an angle theta naught, as shown here.